This is Raymaker0909 here. What I thought I'd do was uh, kind of let you in on what was going on. I haven't posted any videos because my computer decided to mess up. So I had to put some new parts in it. I have one of the motherboard that you can't see. And I have uh, 4 gigs of Corsair Dominator. Look at that. Dominator. It didn't dominate that voltage that went inside of it. You can kind of see what's inside of it. It can't see much. You can't see that 850 watt power supply. I did that calculation. It calls for 700, so that's not too bad. Take a look at that fan. That thing almost, you can't put a fan, you can't put another fan right here. It used to be that went in on the inside because this cooler fan right there, this CPU cooler, runs right up against here, only about an inch away, half an inch away from it. And there it is, on and off button. Reset button, two USB buttons, and the input and output, they're not used. I don't, I don't use the soundboard that come with it. I have my own sound card. A drive, Plexter, 750A, another Plexter, 716 is the number on it. And as you can see, you can see right through the uh, spaces between them. Actual air is being sucked through there. Right there are my four hot swap hard drives. They're all being used as one hard drive that only runs the operating system. All the other ones are slaves to it. My sound card from the front, you can see it's plugged in. And I've got a little mixer board that plugs from there into it so I can put everything that I need to through the front. The back of it basically has the outputs on it, and it's a very, very nice sound card. The video card is a 8880, very good video card. You can see all mine are cables. None of them are flat. They're all cables. Seems to help with the air inlet. Okay. Here's something I had to do to get rid of the heat. It looks kind of dumb, but it really works good. See that fan? As you can see, it sits right. Up. Those are uh, sitting on on top of it. Those are just uh, zip drives. The four fans across the top here. Since it is in a corner, what I've done is I've blocked it off on this side. Okay, and then uh, I haven't quite got this one figured out yet. So uh, yeah, it's a Manila folder. I had to change the fan configuration to accommodate that huge cooler and thus I wanted to make sure how far down that I need to do it. As you can see there's a rat's nest of wires down in there and that's uh, kind of the way it is. There's my little mixer board right there. One of the reason I got it was so I could mix sounds together. Got a little fan back there. It is not running. So like I said I'm trying to figure out how much I need. Okay, here's the monitor. It's an HP W2558HC. H -H it has so many bells and whistles that uh, I don't even... There, you can see it a little bit better. I got the uh, Sony Vegas running on it right now, doing a little work. That's my second monitor right there. And that way I can uh, see what I'm doing on an external monitor. So that's the way that is. now. A couple of other cool things. Okay, all this mess here. Battery charger for my camera. This is my Canon battery. You can see how small it is. Put it right up next to this one right here. You can see the difference in the height. Because the reason I put it down is because it's actually down inside. It's cradled inside of there. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference. Quite a bit of battery life too. This is my TIAC DVD or CD duplicator. It is a cool item to have if you're going to make more than one of anything. There's nothing special about it. it, it it's from TIAC. It has a regular DVD read in it and a DVD write in it. CD or DVD, either one, you know. And since that's all it does, it does really well. I'll turn it on and see what it looks like. 
See, it comes up with all kinds of stuff and asks you what you want to do. But it doesn't have a hard drive in it. It doesn't have anything in it. As far as hard drive, anything like that, it's got a small, like the old-time computers, it's just a chip, like an EEPROM. But it works very, very well. Sorry for the shakiness. Like I always say, this camera is heavy. Yeah, it's always on, but let me turn the display for you. See, it shows uh, that that's the voltage out. That's the hertz. That's the in voltage. There's three events already happened to it. 29 minutes of battery life. The load is 156 watts. And our output is 118 volt. It, it is fairly big. Okay, I left the instructions on it. I thought, what the heck? It takes two of the 12 volt sealed batteries. And I also left every, all the other information on it. So I can just go up there and tell them this is exactly what I want. They're pretty big batteries. They're batteries that run my light on my video camera. So it's a pretty big 12 volt battery. It, it's not a car battery by any means, but I think you electronics guys will know what I'm talking about. I don't have the number right now. So there it is. That's the whole thing in a nutshell.